Luke's Shopify review, how to import reviews to Shopify. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how you can get started with Luke's reviews on Shopify because Shopify does not come with its native integration or native website tool to integrate reviews into your store. And reviews are a very essential and integral part of any store right now because reviews build your authenticity, reviews build trust in your brand. And with everyone looking at reviews before they buy a product, you have to make sure that you have a good review widget and good reviews added before you're launching products. And so your future potential customers or leads look at your product, look at your services and are actually intrigued. So we're going to be using Luke's for that and let's get into it. Now, the first thing you're going to do is head on over to your Shopify dashboard. Over here, you're going to click on settings on the bottom left and then click on apps and sales channels. Then click on the Shopify app store on the top right. Now, once you open up the Shopify app store, just search for Luke's over here. And once you search for Luke's, you're going to see the first application. It's called Luke's product reviews and photos. Now you guys can see they have a 14 day free trial and then is going to charge you $9.99 per month. Now we're going to click on install and keep in mind that Luke's does not have a free version. So it is a paid application, but it has a lot of customization and it has a really good appearance, which you're not going to find in a lot of other tools. Now I'm just going to click on install over here and then we're going to be led to the installation page of Luke's reviews. Now from here, we're going to click on install application to complete the installation process of Luke's reviews. And once you complete that, we're just going to pin this to our navigation. Now, as you guys can see, there are different plans available. So you can add Luke's referrals for $5. You have the scale plan. You have the beginner plan. So you can click on select over here. And once you click on select over here, it's going to lead you to your checkout. So you will have your entire subtotal as well as any, you know, taxes that might be. Now, if you want a free trial, you can try out Luke's for free before you get into, you know, so before you get started on Luke's, you can always get started for free. So you can pick out a plan and pay initially, but you always can get started for free on Luke's. And for that, just click on get started for free. Now, before you get into, you know, building the review widget, we have to set it up. So just click on continue over here. And then click on add Luke's to your theme. This will open up your Shopify website. And on the top left, you will see a button that needs to be enabled. So this is currently enabled now and you're just going to click on save. And we're just going to make sure this has been added. Then click on next and click on add product reviews widget. And then once this opens up and this has been added, so this will add the widget. You guys can see this has not been added. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into our product catalog and this might be because we don't have any products currently so i am actually going to go ahead and just create a dummy product so our review widget can be added so i'm just going to add um anything so let's say we have purse and then that's it so i'm just going to add this dummy product over here and then we're going to go back into our Luke's reviews application and we are going to make sure everything is set up properly. So now I can open up our Shopify store. Obviously, if you leave the setup midway, it's not going to show you your widget. So we are just going to add that and we are going to choose the widget that we want. So let's say I want this one. I can click on add to theme over here. And then I will have to enable it from the left panel and just click on save on the top right. So now you guys can see this has been added to the bottom and I can move this to the top as well. Like this, you can move it wherever you want. I'm going to place this right below our basic product. So this is like our review widget over here and then just click on save on the top right. Now, just like that, Luke's reviews has now been added. Now, with Luke's reviews, you have your reviews, referrals, upsells, and then if you click on your reviews section, you will see different options that can enable you to collect reviews. You can manage new reviews. You can request 
reviews after a certain number of days when your customer has ordered a product from you. You have video reviews, email, review forms, and customer questions. Then you actually have your display options where you choose how you want your reviews to be displayed. Then you also have your manage reviews option, which can enable you to only show reviews that you want. And then you have your import reviews option. So this is a review option that we are looking to integrate into this particular store. So you have three options in this. You can do a one click import from AliExpress. Now, if you're drop shipping and your product supplier is on AliExpress and you have the same product that is listed on AliExpress, this is the easiest way to get started. Then you will have your supported apps. So you can just use a CSV file. Then you also have a spreadsheet option where you can just upload a pre-existing spreadsheet that has the data of your particular product and their reviews. Now, we're going to be using the import to Luke's with a AliExpress click. So all we're going to do is we are going to add this to our bookmarks bar. We're going to click on go to AliExpress. And what we're going to do is that we are going to find, you know, the product that we want to import reviews from. So whatever product is the most similar to your actual product is the one you want to import reviews from. Let's say I want to import reviews for a purse because I listed a purse. I'm just going to search for any random purse over here. And let's just take this one over here. Now, once you see that, you will actually see a button that will enable you to import the reviews. Now, this product does not have any reviews, so I'm going to find one that does have a few reviews that I can see. I'll go with this one over here, and you guys can see we have this review section. So now we are going to go into our bookmarks bar, going into settings. You pin our bookmarks bar like this and then I'm just going to re-add this right over here and then now I'm just going to open up the reviews then click on import to Luke's now I'm going to choose the product that I want to import these reviews to so I want to import them to my product called purse and I just want to scan 20 reviews I want four stars and up, and then I want reviews from all countries. I want them to be translated to English, and I want to preferably fetch the most recent ones and the ones, yeah, that's it. And now I'm just going to click on preview and import, and then it's going to show me which ones I want to import and which ones I don't want to import like this. So we're just going to continue on, and if you just have this, I'm just going to click on finish importing, and that is all I need to do. Now, if I go into my product over here and I'll show you guys what our product currently looks like. This is our current product and you guys can see all these reviews have been added. So just like that, you can use Luke's on Shopify to build your review widget and import reviews. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And I will catch you guys in the next video.